Hey, Don, would you want to fight the winner of uh, Conor versus... You'll fight anybody, right? Conor McGregor versus Donald Cerrone. Conor McGregor is the ex-UFC featherweight and lightweight champions of the world. He held two titles. He vacated those belts. He was also the ex-Cage Warriors champion of the world. He owned the same two titles, and he vacated both titles. Conor McGregor is an amazing stand-up fighter. He has incredible leverage, incredible range, amazing footwork. Technically, he's so sound. He has that incredible left-handed 74-inch reach, and he's able to blast his opponents. He has so much power in his fists. He came back after a two-year hiatus. 24 pay-per-views have went by. None of them led by Conor McGregor. He came back and he, he fought the greatest lightweight, a man who had a record of 26-0, and, and he lost, giving Conor a big loss, a, a big smash in his career. Khabib is the best lightweight in the world right now. Conor McGregor wants to test himself. He wants to come back. He's not like Ronda Rousey. He's not running away from mixed martial arts. Conor McGregor tested himself in boxing when he fought Floyd Mayweather and, and he wants to continue. Donald Cerrone is one of the most fighters that really fights. Donald Cerrone fights six times in a year in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He's tied with Sam Alvey for the most fights in a year. The Cowboy, he was diagnosed with ADD as a kid. That's the kind of guy he is. He is always active, always looking to do something. He has the most finishes in UFC history with 15 finishes and the most wins in UFC history with 21 wins. Fight of the night three times, knockout of the night three times, performance of the night six times. The list goes on. Submission of the night two times. Donald Cerrone has fought some incredible fights since the WEC and into the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Donald Cerrone has great Muay Thai, great kickboxing. He embarked on a kickboxing career. And Conor McGregor's a great striker as well. Donald Cerrone has nasty finishes. He has technical jujitsu, and, and he can finish you and beat you up, kick you in the head, and annihilate you. Conor McGregor can blast you with his left hand, and he has an uh, amazing reach. He has a 74-inch reach. Donald Cerrone also has an amazing reach. He has a 73-inch reach, and he fought as a welterweight and as a lightweight, as a bigger man. Conor McGregor isn't afraid of fighting bigger men. He fought at welterweight, he fought Nate Diaz, and he's always looking to test himself and do something tremendously different. And that's the kind of fighter that, that we've known. I want to ask you guys, the fans of mixed martial arts, how you feel about Conor McGregor coming back and testing himself. And who would you, would you like to see him go into a cage with or an octagon with? Would you like it to be Donald Cerrone? Dana White shot down these rumors, but he, he does that all the time. Conor wants to come back and, and he wants another opponent. Is this the opponent for Conor McGregor? Both, both guys are really technical and they're both amazing fighters. Their striking is top notch. Donald might have the advantage on the ground. He might also have an advantage of, of being a bigger man. And, and recently, in his last fight, he showed what an amazing fighter he is again by annihilating Mike Perry. Conor McGregor's on a low point right now. Conor McGregor was on such a high. He, he's hit a low is, uh, after losing his last fight to Khabib. Is this a good fight for him? Is this a good fight for Conor McGregor? Donald Cerrone has 34 wins, nine knockouts, 17 submissions. He's a crafty veteran with an amazing skill set. Can Conor McGregor go into a fight with Cerrone and blast him, knock him out? That's the question. I want to hear your comment.